you look back to past, you know, pre-1930s when it became criminalised at um, Grow Hemp, people were doing all this. We're not, we're not actually doing anything new, we're just trying to say to everybody, it's a long-term fix for what we've got going on now. When you first see these hemp plants, you may instantly think of cannabis, but they are so much more. It's exhausting sometimes talking about the good that hemp is. Gail Stubber from WA's Hemp Co-op is overseeing a trial which has just begun, aiming to find hemp seeds which grow best throughout the state's varied climate. All up, 18 seeds are being tested as part of the trial. They've been imported from Canada, France and China. The production possibilities of hemp growing from these seeds are almost endless. With bioplastic for cars, just one example. The front of the BMW inside the dashboard is made out of hemp fibre, right? So that's a, it's a bioplastic. The Porsche have now got one of their sports series, the Cayman Sports is made out of bioplastic. It's something even Henry Ford made a prototype of. Built in 1941, it contained cellulose fibres derived from hemp, sisal and wheat straw. And hemp was put on the narcotics list and what everybody around the world is doing is taking hemp off the narcotics list and obviously we're all trying to get rid of plastic. A report by the New South Wales Department of Primary Industries investigating hemp as a new crop identified just some of the potential hemp markets including fabrics, insulation, cement, fuel and even cosmetics. Western Australia's mix of climates will see varying levels of success with the wheat belt's dry spring a concern. It's pretty dry, I, I, I'm sort of worried it won't germinate. Um, what I'd like to see is, is how far back we can push the sowing date and still get it to, to set seed. Daniel Gardner's family has farmed in Mora since 1906, cultivating a mix of grains and running stock. And now as the seeds of something new are sowed at his property, Daniel can see the potential. It's a bit unproven yet in, in WA. And look, it may not have a fit, but I think that you've always got to keep your eyes open about you know, what other new crops are there or, or how do we improve what we do going forward. Farmers can diversify their properties by growing industrial hemp. It provides an alternative to canola, a crop that plays a big role in a farm's profits. If we can have a crop that's not canola that does the same thing, it means we're, we're not as exposed to drops in the canola market. Um, or diseases that come in. It's just another another crop that we could have in what would normally be a low income at time of our of our cropping program, and it is a, a, a sow and set crop. We just you just put it in and leave it. Further south in Capel, Ethel Hawkins' trial site is already seeing results. That's your second, and that's your third. You can just see the fourth leaf starting. So that's really well advanced. The land that we're um, trialling on here is old orchard land. I chose this land because I'd heard that hemp was very good at um, regenerating soil. So we had a lot of compaction here um, and we have residues from all the old orchard chemicals and stuff. So I was interested to see if the hemp would impact that in a positive way. She's taking part in the trial after successfully growing her own crop of hemp last season. I love the hemp as a plant and as a crop. It's a really exciting crop and I think it's really exciting for the industry if we can get it happening. And Ethel is hoping rain will fall soon to repeat that success. If we get some good rain before the end of November, I do expect success. That's all we'll need because we didn't have a huge amount of rain events last year. Um, and we had a really lovely crop. The trial comes as WA's hemp industry is rapidly growing, following the state government changing legislation to allow consumption of hemp seed and increasing the maximum levels of THC in industrial hemp, which is the chemical psychoactive substance. The number of licenses in WA has jumped over the last couple years. Right now, there are 80 license holders in the state. The growth can be seen in the number of hectares sown too. Just 68 hectares were sown in the 2017 financial year, with that number increasing dramatically to nearly 500 hectares last season. And even though the current season is just getting underway, more hectares have already been sown than in the entire 2017 year. Industrial hemp and medicinal marijuana are different varieties of the same plant species. Industrial hemp produces little to no THC as the focus is on growing the stalk rather than the buds which contain the THC in the medicinal marijuana varieties. 
Despite this, one of the main challenges of industrial hemp is overcoming the drug stigma. I mean, how many times do people say, oh, am I going to get high if I eat this? You yeah, know, we get that all the time. Every and one, in, one in ten people will say that. Yeah, yeah and um, yeah. a lot of people won't eat it because they work in the mines and they're yeah. worried about testing positive in a drug test. Those not caught up with the stigma are enjoying products like these, made with hemp grown in vas. We're really underway now. The ball's rolling for um, people who are getting educated about the nutritional value of hemp and so it's starting to move in, in stores now. We roast our seed um, and we change the flavour profile of it. We then grind it and the thing that really sets us apart is that we use the whole seed whereas every other business out there they process it to remove a part of the seed. Bronwyn and Chris Blake have grown their own hemp since 2015. Their decision to differentiate their products pays off to the consumer. And what that seed Seed coat provides is um, a really amazing source of insoluble fibre. It's like a, an exfoliator for your insides, you know, it really sort of cleans you out and cleanses you. And the environment. Uh, it's fantastic for the soil because it has a taproot, so it aerates the soil, it adds carbon, it extracts nutrients from lower down and um, it's more water efficient. The couple bought their property to put their mix of agriculture and horticulture backgrounds to use and allow Chris to leave his mining job. Something that I wanted to get back to was maybe give back to the land and uh, the environment rather than the existing employment I was doing in mining is really sort of taking and, and uh, yeah, not too good for the environment. They see the benefits the statewide trial will have on the entire industry and hope it will see changes to rules which hold them back, including the fact it's illegal to use the buds and leaf of the plant. The seeds are in those little, little calyx hubs, I guess you can call them. The benefit the government could do to help the industry as a whole is whole plant use. So like Bron was talking before, you know, using the head matter and the leaf matter really into food. Chris and Bronwyn aren't part of this year's trial, but they'll be watching it closely as they look to grow their own business. We're going to put in um, a big plant um, with all the packaging equipment and roasting and seed cleaning equipment so that we can increase our capacity and go nationwide and start exporting as well. Along with opening their doors to tourism. Allowing people to come and, and look at the crop and teach them about the crop. Um, look at what we're doing in the processing as well and um, we'll have a shop front as well. We want, we want to share the hemp story with as many people as possible.